Hello everybody, Lance here. And in the last installment of the procedural mastery video, I did mention that I'm gonna tone down the madness a bit. So this one is going to be simpler and I hope that it's going to be uh, much easier to digest. So this tutorial is about this particular node, the fractal Voronoi. And as you can see, uh, the Voronoi texture in uh, Blender doesn't have any fractal levels to control. And uh, the noise texture does have a detail um, option, which is basically the levels of um, fractal. So we're going to create ourselves a new Voronoi texture, which has a similar feature to this uh, detail slider here. Now this is not a complete rock texture or anything. This is more like a utility texture that you can then reuse in your project. And for example, uh, you can make something like this, a very rocky formation. And uh, you can actually get creative with it to create many different uh, types of uh, rocks. Let me lower this down to um, 0 0.5 maybe. Yeah, maybe uh, one. One seem to be better. There we go. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so this is what we have right now. Let's get rid of the principal shader because it's too big and we don't need it for the demo. The the demo. Okay, so create a diffuse. It's, it's much smaller and uh, create three Voronoi textures okay this, this would be level 0 name this one uh, level 0 this one will be level 1 and this one is level 2 okay so we will work on three levels for now and then we will upgrade to six levels okay three levels is going to be much easier to follow alright so create a value node and we will label this one size or maybe scale okay and connect it to the bar noise like so and we need to have another value node and we will name this one ratio okay the level 1 Voronoi should be smaller than level 0 by a certain scale I mean ratio and I find the ratio that lo that looks good is uh, 1.5 but you can set it to whatever you want so in order to make the the texture smaller we have to increase the scale so we will multiply the scale with the ratio to get a, a higher number to put in here which in turn make the Voronoi the, the level 1 Voronoi smaller okay so create a math node and connect the scale to the first slot and the ratio to the second slot and change the math operation to multiply and connect this to the scale Okay, the, the level 2 Voronoi should be smaller than the level 1 Voronoi by the same ratio. Okay, power this uh, by 2 and then multiply the original scale with it. So this is the level 0 and this is level 1 and this is level 2. And uh, I forgot to set these to a uh, crackle. Okay, so we will use the crackle mode for now. So this is level 0, this is level 1, and this is level 2. Alright, now we will add these together. So create another math node and duplicate it. We will add the first Voronoi which the, with the second one, and then we will add this, and the result with the third one. All right, not the color. Use the factor, not the color. And we will get something like this. Right now, the intensity of all three Voronoi's are the same. 
However, we want the second voronoi to have a lower intensity as well, and the, the third level of voronoi should have an even uh, lower intensity. So we need to um, somehow lower the intensity of uh, these two voronois using this ratio. Okay. So we will create another math node, set the um, first input to 1, and connect the ratio to the second input, and change the operation to divide. Now this is the invert ratio. Okay. So label it invert ratio so this invert ratio is uh, the the intensity of the level 1 Voronoi and we need to create another uh, intensity node for the second level I mean level 2 Voronoi as well so copy this power node and connect the invert ratio in it like that and now this would be the um, uh, intensity of our second level I mean level 2 Voronoi so we will multiply the level 1 with the invert ratio and multiply the level 2 with the power the square of the invert ratio and add these together okay so now we can put this in a displacement to see what it does there we go and uh, the displacement is too strong so we need to lower this uh, intensity maybe like um, 0.3 yeah 0.3 is good and as you can see this is the three level fractal Voronoi and this is the uh, default Voronoi and this is the two level Voronoi and this is three levels Voronoi. Okay. Now we need a way to control the levels of Voronoi. Okay. So create another value node, and this one is uh, levels. And uh, let's set this one to one for now, and uh, move it here. All right. All right. Now we will use this to control the output. Okay, so at zero, this level will be the output. At one, then this will be the output, and at two, this will be the output. Okay, so we need to use this. Uh, we need to somehow use this to um, manipulate the values coming out of this and this. So it's actually pretty easy. So create another math node and connect it here and turn on the clamp node and change this uh, value to 0 so this will add 0 to 2 which remain as 2 but since we turn on clamp this will be clamped to 1 instead so when the uh, levels increase from 0 to 1 the output here will be exactly the same as here but when this thing increase more than 1 this will still remain as 1. Okay, so we will use this to control this uh, value. So duplicate it and uh, multiply it with the uh, clamp node here. Alright, so let's test our work so far. Control Shift click on this um, add node and get rid of the displacement. So this is the two level Voronoi and uh, since I am setting the level to 1, this is exactly the same as connecting this multiply node directly to this add node. So this is not doing anything at the moment. But what if I change this to 0? Now we get level 0 Voronoi, which is this one. And it is the same as uh, connect this one directly over here. So it's exactly the same, right? So let's fix that. Now if we change this levels to uh, 0 0.5 then we start to see the second level showing up and the second level will fully show up when the levels increase to 1. Okay so this is starting to work. 
All right. So how do we control the second uh, uh, level? I mean the level two using the same technique. So for level two, we will not use the add anymore, but rather a subtract node, and we will subtract one from the level here. So when when the levels when the level is one then this subtract node will output 0 and when the levels increase from 1 to 2 this will increase from 0 to 1 and anything higher than uh, 2 then this uh, this node will still remain as uh, 1 so bring this one up here like so and we will multiply this with the level 2 Varanoi okay now let's test our result. Now increase the uh, levels to 2 and we get the 3 level Voronoi. Okay, let's see. 0 Voronoi, I mean zero level 0, level 1, and level 2. Okay, we start to get something here. Alright, so connect the displacement again. This is what we have so far, and this is just three levels, okay? And there is uh, one more problem. Since we are adding the values, the output from here may be higher than one. And uh, if we put this into a color ramp node, for example, we may get some clipping. In this case, we don't get any clipping, but uh, we may get some clipping if we don't watch it. Alright, so the highest value of this Voronoi is 1. And the highest value of this Voronoi coming out of here is uh, about um, 1 divided by 1.5. Okay, And the highest value here is uh, 1 divided by 1.5 square. So in theory, if we add all of these uh, values together, we will get the highest possible values coming out of these adding sequence. Okay, so create a math node and uh, add 1 to this and uh, add with the second one, like so. So this will be the max value. So name this one max value. All right, and create another math node here, and change the operation to divide, and connect the max value to the second uh, input of the divide. So this will ensure that the maximum values that we can get from this uh, texture is no more than one. Okay, so this would be a safe value range, but uh, we need to increase the intensity a little of the the intensity of the displacement a little. Okay, so this is three levels, and uh, we will now increase the levels to six. All right. So, how do we increase the levels to 6? We will need to repeat our process so far three more times to uh, uh, increase the levels to 6. Duplicate this node and change the mode to multiply and duplicate it two more times. And um, bring these back a little, like so, and create a reroute node here and connect the um, connect these together like this and connect the um, the invert ratio to these multiplies so this is power 2 this is power 3 this is power 4 and power 5 all right now duplicate this uh, three more times and connect them like this okay and connect these over like this and connect this final add to um, this reroute node 
and bring it here so that the wires are a little more clean all right there we go so this will be the maximum value of uh, the the fractal Voronoi okay and uh, now let's uh, create a few more math node bring this one down here maybe down a little more to make more room for ourselves alright now we need to set up our scales for uh, the three more levels of Voronoi okay so create this uh, multiply math node here duplicate it uh, two more times okay and connect these into sequence like this and connect the original ratio here so this is the ratio square this is ratio power by three I mean power three and this is power four and this is power five okay now control shift D to uh, duplicate uh, the node while keeping the connections if you shift D you don't get any connections so control shift D to cre create a new node while maintaining the connections okay so connect the um, not like that connect this one back here and connect this multiply node to the second uh, input and control shift D two more times and this one connects here this one connect here now this is getting a little complicated right but it's the same kind of math that we just repeat uh, like five times so it's really really not that complex okay so control shift D to create three more borrow noise and connect this one here connect this one here and connect this one here all right label this one level three this one level four and this one level five all right and again we will create three more multiply nodes and connect this one here this one here and this one here and zoom out a little so that we can see our nodes all right and connect this one here this one connect here and this one connect here okay and uh, let's uh, bring these forward a little so we have more space control shift D to duplicate these three more times and this one is two this one is three and this one is four so when this uh, number is five then the output over here will be one okay and duplicate the add node three more times and connect these over here here and here all right bring this forward so that we have more space and duplicate this multiply node like so maybe bring this one over here and connect these three down like so all right swap the input so that it makes uh, more sense there we go so now the six levels of Voronoi are complete and uh, we have a nice uh, fractal Voronoi so let's test it out set this one to five see what we got we got a very nice complex looking Voronoi you can uh, just repeat the same math to create more levels if you want but uh, I find uh, six levels to be good enough so let's um, uh, let's uh, group all of these into a node group okay so select everything control G to group them now the inputs uh, may be messed up in this case the inputs uh, don't get messed up so let's rename our input this one is um, levels this one is scale and this one is ratio and uh, bring the levels down here okay now we need a vector 
I mean a texture coordinate for our six levels of uh, Voronoi. Okay, right now it's uh, using the text, the generated uh, texture coordinate. It's using this this one here, but uh, we need to have a vector input so that we can uh, switch to different texture coordinate systems. So let's delete that one and connect this. Uh, vector input of the Voronoi to the um, hollow slot of the input and this one is vector alright and uh, maybe bring the vector up on top or maybe not just leave it at the bottom okay so shift and right click to cut here and add a uh, reroute node and connect this reroute node over to the other Voronoi nodes Alright, so now we have a vector input for our Voronoi. Now let's reposition our nodes a little. These are too far apart. So this one is here, this one is here, this one is here, and uh, rename this group to Fractal Voronoi. There we go. And uh, now we can put in different uh, texture coordinate system for example the objects uh, or the UVs uh, or just to uh, use the generated alright so th this is basically done however there is a slight problem so let me get rid of the render and create a plane bring it up a little bit and bring it to the side of it and uh, assign the Voronoi materials okay so this is the plane and uh, mm, maybe get rid of the displacement and visualize the Voronoi and if we use the object uh, texture coordinate we can see that we have some kind of zoom in the center of the Voronoi here okay this is because uh, the uh, object uh, texture coordinate is 0, 0, 0 at the center. So this is where all the Voronoi, all the six levels of Voronoi kind of align together. And we don't th want this alignment at the center of the world. So, so we need to uh, offset the five levels of Voronoi a little in order to avoid um, uh, the alignment in the center. Okay, so go in here and uh, bring stuff a little bit uh, forward so that we have more room and uh, move this one back. Alright, and create a um, mapping node like so and place it here maybe. Yeah, maybe not there, maybe here. Mm, the wires are starting to get in our ways. And we move this along the z-axis by 10 meter, like so. And again, we move again for this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, so let's rearrange our node a little. Now there is one thing I forgot to uh, show you that is setting the default values and the limitation for the input okay so go to the node group and uh, in the um, node tab of the right panel and click on these um, input slots you can see down here we have default value is 0 and this this is the mean value and maximum value Okay, so for the scale, we should have something like 5, 
and the minimum value should be 0 and maximum is infinity okay for levels we should have from 0 to 5 and the default is 2 for the ratio the default value is 1.5 and uh, the minimum value should be 1 and there is no maximum value okay so if we are to recreate the group here we see these uh, these are the default values and we don't have to connect these anymore so just connect the objects in here and connect this one here and get rid of these and maybe lower the scale to 2 there we go alright so the Voronoi texture is complete and uh, this is not a particular um, texture in the real world but you can use this to create many things in the future and uh, especially rocks and landscapes and stuff so you you just have to get a little creative with it so for example I can create a color ramp node and lower the white key on the right a little like that and uh, lower the scale value here to maybe 0.1 and now we have some very nice looking cracks on our surface all right and we can make the cracks kind of spread out to make uh, some larger canyon like so and uh, maybe add a uh, ambient occlusion node to uh, visualize the geometry a little better there we go maybe uh, add a RGB curve and lower the ambient occlusion a little more there we go we have some very nice looking cracks on our surface and this is currently two levels of Voronoi so let's increase this increase this to five and we have even better looking cracks and uh, by adding another color ramp node and uh, make it like this we have uh, a slightly better crack looking result uh, maybe lower this one like that maybe so you can see this is a very useful Voronoi texture that uh, you can reuse in the future for many different cases. So that's it. That is the six levels of Voronoi. I hope you enjoyed the video and understand it. Uh, this looks very complex, but it's just some basic math repeating five times. Thanks everyone for watching. That's all for now, but remember, there are more where that came from. If you want to support my channel or just want to get some goodies, you can check out my Patreon page. This is where I share project files as well as original artworks. Any contribution, even for just $1 a month, you can help me improve the quality of my videos. Remember the wood texture in the procedural mastery intro video? That one is dumb. I made a new one here. The notes are slightly simpler and produce a more believable result. There are more improvements to be made and more details to be added later, but uh, this one is already available on my Patreon. You can check it out, the link is in the description below. More to come in the future. Thank you, I'll see you next time.